Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4. All roads lead to Delhi, playing as India. And in this episode, we're going to uh, take a step back because we've had some success in Afghanistan. It looks like we have, well, we don't have complete control over that province. We've retaken Kandahar. Uh, this province is the last one. Although we do control their cities now, uh, there is uh, only one province left that seems to be under their control. Of course, their numbers still seem pretty strong. I feel like they almost increased numbers a little bit, uh, but then um, after we started attacking, but now they looks like they're slightly reduced. Um, so all those airstrikes and missile strikes haven't done a ton of damage. Uh, there's suggestions on the website to do sort of like a zigzag approach. So I uh, have that with the helicopters. Um, we've got our tanks on the Pakistani border, 137 tanks versus their 29 tanks. So I think uh, from a Pakistani-Indian point of view, we still are overwhelmingly stronger. 726 soldiers in that military camp that's just been created. Kandahar base, uh, this city's burning. So there is still a uh, conflict in Afghanistan. The region has not been stabilized by any means, but um, uh, we've had some success. So I have to uh, go back and uh, pay attention to the economy because uh, we have to keep track of that. Uh, looking at overall, the growth has sort of slowed down a little bit. We're down below 4% now. Uh, $7.7 trillion dollars in GDP. We are the uh, puts us in third place. Let me just show you real quick uh, the statistics here. I was looking at from let's see economics uh, GDP. We are in third place. China has surpassed the United States, blown past the United States, 23 trillion, and the United States is at 20 trillion. So uh, one of the objectives was to eclipse China economically. I think we got a long way to go there. Um, before we get to that, but uh, we did uh, pass them uh, in population. Uh, India is now the most populous country in October 23, 2023. Um, so um, that leads us to potential, that puts us in sort of the position that uh, China is in with the United States, I guess, at the beginning with a much larger population. Well, not a much larger population, but a growing economy. Uh, I wonder if there's economic growth here. Let's see who has the most economic growth. We, as percentage of GDP, that says nine. That's not accurate for, oh, I guess that's a prediction what we have here. This is a prediction. So where is China on this list? 40th of five. All right, that's still higher than what we're predicted for the next year. This must be the last year. So we grew by 9% last year. So there's work to be done there. Um, and from an economic point of view, I was taking a look at diplomacy and our contracts. Um, because some of these contracts are gonna be ending soon. Our best contract seems to be the purchase contracts. These are ones that are uh, assessed highest. Uh, this contract for purchasing water supply networks in the United States is the highest assessed contract to provide a low price and a large part of the water that we need. That's one of the most important ones. That's still, we got a ways off over a year before that one's over. Water contracts are important because water is necessary for foods, for, or at least for crops. So uh, beef from Brazil is the second best contract we have here. Low price, large portion of the supply. Not a big portion, not a lot. Most of the uh, successful contracts we have are from purchases. So, um, we might have to repurchase some of these, especially the water. Copper is also a sort of a important resource that's involved in a lot of different uh, uh, production chains, so to speak. So water supply is definitely big for the agricultural production change, chains. Copper is one of those lower level resources that you require copper to make other things that are required to make other things and so on and so on. Um, and then a lot of the rest of the stuff uh, is, a lot of the stuff that we purchased is, well, we purchased oil. That's interesting. What is that one? I don't know. We got a lot for that one. All right, that's from Indonesia. Uh, yeah, oil is another important one. Purchased oil from Russia. That one's coming up a little bit soon, but that's not a really good one. Supply provided by this contract is more expensive than average. We should probably get rid of that. 
So letting some of these contracts go will probably actually be beneficial to us. We'll still continue to um, import and export even without these contracts. It's just the contracts are a guarantee. I think that's how it operates in the game. Uh, so that's something to pay attention to. Big sale contracts, coal. This is a big portion of our economy. That's $200 billion. That is a big one. That's coming up. We want to make sure we renegotiate that one um, when that's up. I do want to guarantee a nice sale of coal because that ensures a big portion of our economy. Steel is our next biggest sale and that's 27 billion there. That's to Canada. Um, and that is actually coming up really soon. That's what I'm going to take a look at. It doesn't have the best detailed assessment. Uh, there's actually some negatives here. Contract will allow us to sell a much better price. That's good. Allows us to sell us a portion of our production, which is somewhat okay. Um, and revenue expected from this contract is insignificant to global activity. That's that's sort of a negative there. Uh, insignificant revenue. Um, it is particularly profitable. Selling more of it will bring us even more profit. So maybe we should try to sell more steel. Let's take a look at our steel industry overall. Personnel doesn't have a big impact on our on our unemployment. So this is an important contract. It's up in about in less than a month, a couple weeks actually. So that's something I want to pay attention to. So let's just take a look at steel, and let's take a look at industry. Uh, we'll see what the impact is. Right now we have a trade balance in our favor, which is lower than what we started with with industry at least. Um, almost 500 billion dollars is a positive trade balance we're exporting over imports. Of course, we have all those imports we we're looking at. Uh, profits are around 425 billion. That's really good. Um, let's look at steel specifically. If we take a look at steel specifically. Uh, production. We have 5% of the world's production. 4% uh, of the world's consumption. So we do have to sell about 1.2% of uh, our production, or of the world's production, out to the world. Uh, particularly with steel, we have a trade balance of 44 billion. Profits, sales are 132 billion, but profits are 47 million. So, um, I guess we're buying some steel too from other people. What that means. So those numbers we want to pay attention to, and we're going to want to pay attention to them after the contract is up. I want to see what the impact is of that contract ending. Do, do these numbers stay consistent, or does the guarantee sale of steel disappear, and then we need to have to, we'll have to sell some more steel, uh, or find someone else to sell steel to? Steel two. Um, but back to the overall numbers, growth is around three percent. Again, kind of low. Um, you know, for a large industrialized country, it's not bad, but um, we're sort of a developing uh, industrialized country, so we want that to be a little bit higher. Of course, the inflation number was what we've been focused on reducing, and the interest rates are pretty high, so I probably can reduce interest rates again. I think I just did. Uh, this continues to drop this inflation number, which is very good. Take a look at the. Uh, oh, I wanted to look at. Well, let's now I wanted to look at uh, currency first. Stop it. There it is. Inflation is declining. Constant decline. That's good. Key interest rates are at 17%. Can we change it? Let's drop it down another uh, percentage point here. Drop it down to 16. Good. All right. So we'll keep lowering that interest rate. Um, taxation. We were just looking at uh, total income is almost $900 billion. Triple. No, not triple. More than double uh, what it was when we started with. Here's our budget, 847, which gives us a surplus of $53 billion to pay off our debt of $1616 billion, down from $2 trillion. That is an enormous achievement right there, I think, paying off almost all that debt. We're going to get into a reserve soon, hopefully. And with my popularity as high, is, as high as it is, I don't see a need to lower taxes at this moment. At least not until we build up a large reserve. Uh, of course, that will stimulate the economy probably when we lower taxes and drive up inflation too uh, so those are things that we have to pay attention to but right now letting the inflation decline um, and lowering interest rates I think is my best strategy that creates another tool for the future so that when uh, I do start to grow the economy again when these trade contracts are up and I renegotiate new trade contracts which could end up being more in my favor so I have to be ready for that actually um, getting the interest rates low means that when I uh, if I 
establish a lot more growth through these new trade negotiations, uh, I can raise those interest rates again and try to control the inflation. So the lower I can go, the better, I think. And with the economy growing as slow as it is, lowering interest rates uh, is not a bad idea. Maybe I can even lower it 2% next time. We'll see. But anyways, um, we're paying attention to the steel industry for the next couple weeks. And we're going to see what um, happens as a result of the end of that trade contract with uh, Canada. Um, and that's the only contract. The rest of the contracts seem to be up in 2024, so I don't have to worry about that for now. Um, other issue on the channel is what I wanted to look, look diplomatically from a diplomatic point of view. I was looking at the UN actually, um, and I think I wanted to try to go for another uh, bid for the permanent Security Council member. Let's see here. Ask for permanent status as a Security Council. I think I want to try for this again. Okay. Five permanent members of the Security Council enjoy veto rights and cannot be indicted. Uh, this will give me free reign in uh, South Asia to do what I want. Possibly initiate a war against Pakistan, colonize them, annex Sri Lanka, and annex Maldives. Um, and then start building railroads and connection to Afghanistan and extend my uh, trade influence into Central Asia and develop that Central Asian trade organization that I was trying to develop before. Those are really the uh, regional goals, I think, for now. So let's go ahead and try to confirm this, to see if we can get on that. Uh, in order to do that, we uh, are going to use the same approach we used in the past with foreign aid. Uh, development aid that we've been giving. Our gifts currently are to Indonesia, Kenya, Gabon, Romania, and a little bit to Afghanistan. I do actually want to increase this with Afghanistan. Uh, because I want to help their economy. Somebody, uh, I forgot who, oh, sorry, I should have looked at my comments. Uh, somebody identified that uh, Afghanistan's popularity of the president is zero. And the Mujahideen president, apparently, or the leader of the Mujahideen, has much higher um, popularity, 24%. So uh, we got to try to help that guy out a little bit. Um, we have pretty good relations with them because we've been invading. We've built our bases and established the military infrastructure in this country, which puts us in a good strategic position against uh, Pakistan. So that's uh, something we want to maintain. Um, so we do want to make sure that ensure that he still stays in power. So I think some GDP aid or some foreign aid to him. He's got 59 billion GDP. One billion would be a lot. It should be pretty helpful. Inflation's low, unemployment. Too. He's got deflation. Anyways, and then maybe we can sell arms to them and turn profit our own way. Turn it back because we do have some arms industries that are developing. But I got off track there because I'm really focusing for now, focusing on the um, bid for the UN. And I don't know if Indonesia is a partner anymore, but Kenya, Gabon, Romania, these were all UN countries if we go to let's check this out we can look up the UN politique UN um, and it lists them all I'm wondering if uh, because I know there's 15 permanent there's 15 members five permanent are at the top and then the next 10 are to 15 I'm wondering if like Botswana who is 16 is next on the list that's interesting, if that's how they list it. Um, but on the list, we have Sri Lanka, not good. <laughs> that's the country we're trying to annex. Bahrain, uh, Somalia, which also we don't have good relations with them. Kenya, Seychelles, I think I pronounced that, that's how you pronounce that. That's right around here, these islands. I totally missed that last time because uh, I didn't see it on the map. I should have looked at the list. Um, they, I think, we can probably send them for a Gabon. Uh, Morocco. Oh, that's cool though. I gotta zoom in on that. Go back. Yes. Nice. Those are the islands. Okay, good. Uh, Morocco, I think, I'm assuming is probably a, a aid receiver, so we can probably send them aid. Romania, we're still sending them aid. Turkey, they got a pretty good economy. Qatar, I don't think they are. Alright, so those are the ones. So let's take a look at aid. And let's look at those guys. So, um, right now we're sending. Indonesia is no longer on the list. I'm wondering if I want to cut my aid to Indonesia. Not yet. We're still, I still want to maintain good relations with them. Uh, Bahrain is a donor. Botswana is a receiver. If they become part of the council, we can 
send them some aid. Uh, the who else was on the council? Uh, who else was on this council? I have that on my list somewhere. I wrote him down. I just said it too. Qatar, I think it was his donor. Oh, Morocco. Morocco's a receiver. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's send them a billion dollars worth of aid. Hopefully they'll appreciate that. International donations. You know what? Let's match international donations. 1.5 billion. Average donation. That should be a big one. Okay, so we got Morocco. Hopefully that'll sway them. Uh, Seychelles. Seychelles. I don't know if I said that right. I should look it up on Forvo. Where are you? You are not on the list. What is with that? Turkey's a receiver. Hmm. I'll give you a billion dollars there, Turkey. A little get that's probably not much of their GDP. I can't believe they're a receiver of foreign aid. Thirteen percent. Well it's only it's our GDP. Yeah, give them some give them some of that. Nice. Alright, and Somalia we don't have good relations with and the others are donors. Um Let's see here. Can I give you just click on you. Give aid. There we go. One billion. You're gonna get a ton of aid here. You better vote for me. Boom. Okay, so now we'll hold off on aid to Afghanistan because uh, we want to uh, save some money. <laughs> um, and once I get on the security council, then I'll get rid of all that aid and uh, just focus all my aid towards Afghanistan. Maybe give them like five billion dollars in aid, ten percent of their GDP. That'd be huge. All right, so um, I had those move. Where was that? I had the zigzag approach with the uh, helicopters. Uh, the other suggestion was to deploy missile launchers. Where are my missile launchers? Near the region. Let's focus here on the military. There we go. Helicopters, more helicopters. Let's send these helicopters closer. Deploy them to that base. That's good. That's all I want. Just do it. Stop it. Get off it. Now I'm stuck in this thing. That's just horrible. Uh, I don't know what that did. 120 missile launchers. Let's send them to that base as well. That's it. I don't know if that worked. Let's see if that worked. Oh, sometimes this user interface is just horrible. Okay, um, no, we don't need to do that. Interest rate decrease, we knew that. Large income aid to Seychelles, they love it. A thousand troops, missile launchers are deployed, and these are a thousand troops. Let's, let's try the zigzag approach. Oh, I have to click off that, that's what's happening, click on. I'll try to zig and zag across the territory and then come off that. Okay. Just send it in there for one run. What do we have here? Quest accepted. Okay. And we are paying a very heavy Whoa. tribute to this con. A lot of soldiers. <clears throat> well, a lot of casualties there. Hopefully the fighting will uh, halt. I should probably pull these guys out and just send them into the base. 
regression. Uh, we would so much like finding humanitarian. We would so much like your finding humanitarian species to be followed up with concrete action. Uh, it's been sad the time being. We are still at the stage of promises even regressing, and meanwhile our poor are dying in the street. Aid to the. I'm listening carefully. Potted. How much would this aid amount? Thank you for your. There we go, and I don't need to do that right now. All right, not spotting any troops really here. Afghanistan is building a refugee camp. That's good. Um, twenty-one. What else do I want to look at here? Okay, I reviewed the trade. Afghan zigzag. UN bid. Foreign aid purchased to Afghanistan was next on my list. Oh, aid famine to do uh, to. Uh, I have to deal with some management in my own. Disaster relief. India famine. Uh, estimated. Some total donations. International donations transferred. We gotta transfer another uh, 15. 14 billion. How do I transfer it? I think if I do that, it transfers. Was that millions or billions? Rebels in retreat. After their incursion into territory controlled by attacked. the terrorists. After their incursion. Looks like there's a tax going on here. Fight against terrorism. I haven't looked at the newspapers. I never looked at the newspapers in these. This is why. Uh, Cyber Security Day. That's good. Oh, we yeah, have. Possible uh, cyber attack from uh, Bangladesh warned in the last episode. Thailand flooding. Mujahideen rebels in retreat. Uh, we want some more. They want some more humanitarian. There's the death toll, body count, or whatever. Not body count. Interest rate decrease. Our nation's on its way to becoming land of arts. And the singer increase aid to a bunch of countries. Yeah, those are all the big major events that are occurring. At world's end, accessible. Oh, why does it do that? Another reason why I don't go into this newspaper. Headquarters sabotage. A lot of actions. Morocco, total jihad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's cool if you have the time and you just want to sit and analyze all these, maybe. Because um, it talks about a lot of different events happening in different countries. But I am playing a YouTube Let's Play, and I think that would be tedious and boring, so, um... Oh! Oh, hit that. Hit it. Fire missiles, that target. We're gonna miss it. They're gonna run out. Yeah. Alright, let's put these guys back into the camp. I don't want my troops out and exposed. I'd rather expose the helicopters in a multi zig zag approach. There we go. Alright, enough. Come on, I got the zag off of that. Oh, what is that? Is that a cycle button? Troll. Yes. Are they on patrol? I don't know. That's what we really want. Helicopters patrolling. Yes. 
figured out how to do it. These are insane zigzag patrols. Perfect. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they got a hit. Now we have our helicopters constantly patrolling the area. Ah, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Now we might be able to get them. This might be the way to do it. Hit that base. Airstrike is they're too far away, fighters. Oh, well, that zigzag isn't really working out. Oh, nice. Afghanistan is firing away. All right, I think I have a better uh, control over the situation. These zigzags. He flew right over the base and he didn't hit him. Oh, this, oh we hit it. We did hit it. Okay. All right, let's see if I can't just station him out here. Deaths abroad, care for refugees. We are paying a vet. Wow, heavy toll. Alright, we'll see what happens. Hopefully those helicopters can do some damage and take care of that situation. Coming to the end of October here, that contract should be up soon. Um I think it was the fourth, right? And I've been going for about half an hour here. Okay, so uh, I like what's going on. I, I I learned something here today about the patrol. Um, that's very interesting. I mean, I'll put that in the uh, description or something or the tags for uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, I might do tutorials sometime soon once I get a better understanding. I mean, people keep asking me for tutorials, but. You know, I don't really know everything about this game, even though I've been playing it for like two years. Uh, there's still a lot about this game I don't know. So, I could do definitely beginner tutorials um, about different things. I do have one or two out there. Uh, but I can start to create maybe like a tutorial playlist too. That's something that has been on the request list for a while. So, um, I'll look into that. Uh, please like the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and you'd like to see more. Uh, also, please follow me on Twitch if you're on Twitch. The link is in the description below, as well as the link to Patreon uh, page if you want to support me uh, further with funding and get some Patreon rewards and everything. All that's on the Patreon page. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.